down six under, just kept it going, Kirk. It was amazing, you know, after turning in 2090, birdie 10 and 12, and then again at 14. Right, Isaiah Salinda playing along with him, the 26-year-old who's a star at Stanford. Rolling Mon it in, lifts Monday under. qualified. Double bogey at 17, in the water at the par three. Bounce back at 18 for Terrence. Really good, too. He hit a pretty darn good tee shot that ended up in the lake and made double at 17. 62 today for Terrence. And Tom Kim, the defending champ, five under on his opening nine. There's some good scoring so far today. 63, a 62, a 64 from Joel Damon. And Cam Davis dials one up from long distance. Defending champion. Short par four, found the green. And he kind of scoots that eagle try. And the birdie putt now from the other side of the hole where he was putting for eagle, Tom Kim. Looking to go back to back, and yes, there's another man at 13 under par. Hadwin at 14, this to get it to 13 under as well. Yeah. Told me the other day, this is the only event he's gonna play in the fall, so he's making the most of it. Very reachable par five. No wind out there, water in front here. Tough hole location front left, but you could take that out of play by going kind of middle of the green, right of it, and he goes right over the top of it. That's what happens when a guy's going along like Tom Kim is right now. Down that hill, just gonna be very aware of the speed going down there. Yeah, speed's good. Very good, makes it an easy, uh, it's an easy hole, but if you don't put the ball in the fairway, you know, it can be a tough birdie hole. Put the double circle on the card, JT Poston with an eagle there at the ninth, and now he is 13 under. As far as the ball goes here, this is probably just a pitching wedge, maybe a chance to take a shot. Okay, eight top tens on the season for Tom Kim. Kim for birdie at 18. Player after player with eagle chances at 16. He had a nice season. He's top 50. He had a nice read and a nice putt. Yes, too. he did. Ooh, much different line than we just saw Cam, huh? The left to right action for Chesson. On a great line. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, you were thinking about it, weren't you, Kurt? <laughs> It looked pretty good. Didn't it? <laughs> that would have been that would have been something. Taylor Pendrith trying to roll in a birdie at 15, and it just hangs on that left side. So Pendrith inching up the leaderboard. Now he's 12 under. Just a hair left. Oh, he got that hair left. A lot of slope over here. Yeah. He's getting more than a hair left. Oh, man. <laughs> Back to 17, and Adam Hadwin for his two. And Top Kim now has a co leader at 15 under par. This is second at 18. Just avoided the fairway bunker. Ball just slightly above his feet. What a nice shot in there. Boy, what a round he's put together. Best one that we have seen at 18 in a while. Day one in that 63. Hadwin for sole possession. Oh. So it's par at 18 for Adam Hadwin. 15 under 60. Three one off that 62 of Tom Kim today. One Canadian to another, Taylor Pendrith on the tee at 17. This is going to be good too. Yep. Remember, Hadwins went way right to left as well. 
it says 216 to the hole, but you don't have to play nearly. Pendrith for birdie at 17. Stretches just enough. And Taylor Pendrith with back-to-back -back birdies. 153, this is a pitching wedge. There is a big slope to the left. Players can use, stays away from the water and he still funnels down to the hole. That's exactly what he did. Players, they know if they get right of that hole location with much rollout over there, it can end up in the water. And that is very well done. And that's a good shot and a smart shot too. Yep. Take you in nice and low on a good line. See what kind of bounce we get here. Well, the crawl up there. Short. Probably going to come just a Breaks. little bit short. You said you liked the position that JT was in. Here's the third at this par 5, 13th now. Yep. That is what's called handling your business there. And he's just making it easy on himself. So another birdie for Poston. And Whaley has a putt through the shadows for an eagle to get to 15 under par where Adam Hadwin and Tom Kim already reside. We know it's quick. Works right to left going down there. He's in the 170s in the FedEx Cup points. That's why we were saying earlier, Kurt, tomorrow is going to be a massive day for this young man. He had it right in front of the green on 13 and 2, par 5. Let's see if he attacks this whole location on the right. Yeah, good job. Sure did. That is really well done. The replica. Third at the par five for Lanto. Excuse me, JT. No, that is Lanto. Contact was a little iffy, but it ended up just fine. Mm, that's a great touch there. Yep. It's well judged, well executed. Yeah, good work there. Great up and down. Nice yeah. three. It's a good three at 15. And now there are three players at 15 under. KH Lee, moment ago, his second from 210 at the par 516. The flag stick just right over his hat there, front left. Oh, wow. Oh, oh right hello. there. What a shot. Best of the day. Had a chance. Boy, did it ever. That's why we've had so many playoffs in this event through the I years. Know. Guys make a move down the stretch. Okay. Smoothly rolls that one in to get to 14 under. Here's Lonto Griffin again in that bunker. Short oh, of the green at 15. Peach. Oh, Roger, that was a terrific Such shot. Such a great bunker shot. Caddy Aaron Fleener reminded him we want to be past the hole. And he's headed to the right center of the green, overcut it a bit. And that didn't cover, I don't oh, think. Oh, my oh, gosh, oh, not oh. enough. And I think because it was not struck quite solidly enough, that was the difference right there. Uh, he came out soft. Oh. 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 Hit the rocks oh. again. Oh. And I think he'd be dying for that 85-yard shot from the right now. Birdie number two on the day for Lonzo, and he is now just one back of the lead. Just going to go from tight for the lead to three back. And the way things are here, you just you don't want all that ground to make up. You can do it tomorrow, but. Mm. 181 to carry on line with the flag stick.
Oh, what a shot from there. That went left pretty hard. Wow. Yeah. In the shade over here, I didn't see that. I think he, he, it looked like to me he was maybe right edge and it needed to be at least a ball outside of that. Boy, this is aggressive. Little right of the hole. This is a dandy. I mean, this is an aggressive play here. What a shot. What a great that, shot. That oh, is man. trust in your golf swing right there. Oh, so close. Yeah, good effort. Good fight today. And maybe something to think about tomorrow, too, is you. Early on, if you're not making a birdie the first three, four holes, you know that stretch on the back nine where you can make up a lot of ground, and he did today. So we have six players either on the lead or one shot off the lead. And then four more at 13 under. You go down to at least, say, 12 under, three shots back, and every one of those players believe they have a chance to win tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. It'll be interesting. I think we're in for a similar day tomorrow, possibly a little warmer, but not predicting much wind, so you expect low scoring again.